through the spirit of his son. But ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit, if so be that the spirit of God dwell in you. Now if any man have not the spirit of Christ, he is none of his. So he's saying a Christian, a true Christian, has the Holy Spirit living inside him. And if a person does not have the Holy Spirit, if a person does not have the Spirit of Christ inside of him, that person doesn't belong to God. A Christian is not someone who believes things in his head, only a Christian is who has the Holy Spirit living inside of him. That is why he's a Christian. He's a Christian because Jesus Christ lives inside of him through the Holy Spirit, and that's what makes him a Christian. That's what makes him a child of God when the Holy Spirit entered. But how do we receive the Holy Spirit? Through faith. When we believe the gospel, when we believe the good news, God sends His Holy Spirit inside of us and He makes us a new creation and He makes us alive. Mm -hmm. And if Christ be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the Spirit is life because of righteousness. So again, the body. Our body before we came to God is dead. It's filled with sin and it's ruined and it's dead because of sin. And we can't do anything good and anything to satisfy God because we naturally want to do evil. We naturally want to please ourselves. But now we have the Spirit. So the body is dead, but the Spirit is life. And the Spirit is alive. And the Spirit is a person. The Spirit is Jesus Christ. God sent the Spirit of His Son Jesus Christ into our hearts and Jesus Christ lives inside of us and He wants to move through us and work through us through the Holy Spirit. So what do we need to do? We need to not yield to the flesh, to the dead body, but we need to yield to the Holy Spirit that lives inside of us and when we yield to the Holy Spirit, God wakes us up, He wakes our body and we are able to fulfill the law. How? Not through our own strength, not through the flesh, but through the Holy Spirit that resides inside of us. God gave us the gift of His Holy Spirit. God sent His Holy Spirit inside of us so that Spirit can move through us and work through us. So it's very important. If I, How am I supposed to love one another? How am I supposed to love others? I cannot love one another. I cannot love others. The flesh cannot do this. God, uh, Paul said, for I, know that it, for I know that in me that is in my flesh dwelleth no good thing. There is no good thing in the flesh. The man who is separated from God, there is nothing good inside him. He can't love his brother. He can't fulfill the law. But we are in the flesh. Why? Because we have God's Spirit inside of us. So who can love my brother? Who can fulfill the law? Who can love God? The Spirit can love my brother. The Spirit can love God. The Spirit can love my neighbor. I don't love my brother. I don't love my neighbor. I don't love God. The Spirit loves my brother. The Spirit loves God. The Spirit loves my neighbor. And when I yield to the Holy Spirit that dwells inside of me and I allow the Holy Spirit to work through me and live His life through me, then Christ is able to work, love and do His work through me. Christ has forgiven my brother. I don't want to forgive my brother. I don't want to love him, but when you come into the presence of God and God reveals His desires inside of you, God sent the Spirit inside of you and the Spirit has desires and the Spirit has love for your brother. And if we surrender, we need to see ourselves dead. We need to die to ourselves and we need to live to the Holy Spirit that lives inside of us and the Holy Spirit will direct us and lead us into what? Into fulfilling the law, into loving others. The Apostle Paul again in Romans 5 says, And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost which is given unto us. So when we believe the gospel, God sent His Son, Jesus Christ, into our hearts through the Holy Spirit. And Jesus Christ loves God. And because He lives inside of us, we now have love for God because another person lives inside of us through the Holy Spirit. And He loves God. And He gives us love for God. A person without the Spirit can't love God. Can't satisfy God. But we have Christ living inside of us. And the Holy Spirit gives us love for God. And gives us strength to fulfill the law because the Holy Spirit is love. And the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of Christ. And when we yield to the Holy Spirit, and when we follow the Holy Spirit, He will lead us, and He will direct us into loving others.